Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. You know, what we're looking at is the spine. Is It's also referred to as the vertebral column, or in uh, layman's terms, often the backbone. This is actually what supports our head and encloses and protects that spinal cord. There's a total of 33 vertebrae in the spinal column itself. The regions are very important, particularly when we're looking at coding, not only coding for procedures, but as you'll see, coding for our diagnosis codes are predominantly driven off of the spinal regions. So in the first, we have seven vertebrae up in the neck, and that's referred to the cervical spinal region. There's, in fact, though, eight cervical spinal nerves. In the thoracic region, those are the next 12 in the upper back. They correspond to each of the pair of ribs, and there's corresponding 12 spinal nerves. Following down, we have, of course, which most people are familiar with, the lumbar or low back. We have five vertebrae there, and there's five corresponding spinal nerves. As we get down lower, though, we don't have individual vertebrae. And in fact, they're actually fused together to make one bone, the sacrum. But we do have separate individual spinal nerves, even though we don't have separate vertebrae. And last but not least, in that lowest, we have potentially five vertebrae that are fused together to form that tailbone or coccyx. Again, these are important spinal regions looking at coding for both um, diagnosis coding and CPT. Oftentimes, they are referred to by their uh, name and number, starting from the top or from the head going downward. So cervical vertebrae, often referred to as C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, for example. Thoracic, T1 through T12. Lumbar, again, L1 through L5. There are some patients that have a congenital um, anomaly, and they may have a partial or fully formed L6, but that is um, considered to be unusual um, and not the standard. Then we have the sacrum and coccyx. They aren't separate vertebrae because, again, they're fused. Now, we're going to talk about in the sacrum in a bit separate foraminal openings and those separate nerves. But from the actual vertebrae itself, there isn't an S1 vertebrae or an S2 vertebrae because, again, remember that sacrum is fused. This is just for your purposes for a reference point in, in future use. We're going to go over this in a little bit more detail, but I just particularly like this illustration um, because it kind of gives you those basic components that you may see um, in your provider's documentation reference to where they're placing the needle or um, a procedure that they're resecting or um, taking out um, surgically. Well, when we're looking at, and here's the definitions of them. Again, I'm not going to go uh, uh, bullet point by bullet point. It's for your references to come back to um, for an actual definition of those different structural elements. What I want to shift on to is looking at the differences and the similarities between the vertebrae in the three um, spinal regions, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. We, of course, have the vertebral body. That's what's going to support in, in the cervical, primarily the head, um, is that's where the weight is setting on, so the vertebral body. We have transverse process and spinous process. The transverse process exit out to the side, right and left in the cervical through through a lumbar region. The spinous process exits out backwards, and that's what you can feel if you run your fingers down your back, are those are those little bumps each spinous process. The two different processes um, are primary attachments for tendons, for muscles, fascia, and ligament attachments. And that's the primary. Supercoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228 9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial. 